A year ago, we had a really big cold front come through right around Halloween. So this time last year, it would have been beautiful outside. We would have had temperatures in the 60s mm. today. Not quite. It was in the 80s this afternoon. 85 is where we topped out here in Corpus Christi today. Didn't get any measurable rainfall out at the airport here in Corpus Christi, but some other folks did. You can see, though, our radar is clearing up at this time. A couple storms outside of our viewing area just to our south and over towards Laredo. Big thunderstorm with a lot of lightning. So if you are heading out to Art Walk, to Greek Fest, to a Friday night football game, your weather should be pretty nice and clear, though it will be on the warm and humid side. Temperatures in the 70s heading into the rest of this evening. Now, Futurecast does have our rain chances going back up into tomorrow morning, though they are going to be on the isolated side tonight. We wake up warm and humid again in the 70s, and tomorrow afternoon, a very similar forecast to today, though a touch warmer in the upper 80s instead of the middle 80s with widely scattered showers and mostly cloudy skies. Now heading into Sunday, we keep a, a rain chance, but it's going to be on the lower side, just a stray shower or two. Same goes for Monday and Sunday and Monday. They are going to be quite windy. Sustained winds up to about 30 miles per hour with some gusts up to 40 on Monday. So quite windy. You may want a hair tie on your wrist if you are out and about on those days. Heading into Tuesday for Election Day, we are expecting our next cold front to come into the coastal bend on Tuesday morning. So that means our next highest rain chances are going to be on Election Day. So while you're out at the polls, if the lines do get long and you're outside, you may want a rain jacket or an umbrella. We will see some temperatures being relieved into the lower 80s where we should be this time of year from the low 90s. That being said, the temperatures are going to warm back up heading into next week as that front rejoins with the next frontal system that also has a cold front. That one is a little TBD on whether it actually gets down here into the coastal bend. But what we will be watching for with this front is just how far south that it can get and could it potentially block this tropical system and make it go more to the northeast. So more on that path here in just a minute. Hurricane Center is busy. They've got three areas of interest. We're watching these two in the Caribbean. One has just a low 10% chance of development. This one has a high 70% chance of development over the next seven days and a 30% chance over the next two days. So high pressure over Florida is going to steer both of these towards the Yucatan, generally to the west after this kind of meanders through the Caribbean. Heading into about Wednesday, it'll be entering the Gulf of Mexico, and what happens from there is still a little bit up in the air. It's going to depend on this high pressure, on this low pressure, and where exactly that cold front is, but the general consensus is to come up into the Gulf of Mexico, and once it gets there, there's a very big model spread, and that's because these models have no real storm yet to latch on to. So once we get a system that has a closed circulation, then we'll start to be able to see a little bit better data and be able to pinpoint where it's going to go and just how strong it could be. So for now, something to watch, not worry about. What we're going to be watching tomorrow is those widely scattered rain chances. Temperatures on Monday challenging a record high and then that cold front on Tuesday dropping us by about 10 degrees. So Again, this time of year, we have lots of little icons on the seven day. We've got the time change this weekend. We've got a cold front voting on Tuesday and the last blitz next Friday. Oh my goodness, say it isn't so, but yeah. just goes to show how fast this year has been going. It really has. That's we why the weather can't keep up. Yeah, yeah. everything's can't. going by so fast. All right, Kristen, thank you. Uh,